you guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you my new insane, crazy, weird, new beauty product that I'm using. Okay. You guys are gonna think this is totally just really like Sasha, you've lost it. You've lost it and you need to just stop. But I'm not gonna stop. Because I've been using this for two months and it has changed my skin completely. Now I'm one of those people that like I'm really like obsessive about what I put on my skin. I'm really careful. I can't use thick creams. I, I even I had to switch from you know the the Clinique I was using the moisturizing lotion. I had to switch to the gel because the moisturizing lotion was making me like get little like oily whiteheads. It was like that's how sensitive my skin is to anything too creamy or too oily. So that makes this product even more strange that it's working on me. Um, so, uh, you're never gonna believe like how I found this, but I was, uh, I'm always looking for, you know, anti-aging products, things that are gonna help, you know, melt my wrinkles away, <laughs> which I'm gonna, you already know, I Botox and dermal fill the mm, out of my face. So, uh, that is why it looks so smooth. But after you use fillers and Botox, it is important to use uh, products that soften those lines and tighten the skin and and help relieve the wrinkles that are now, like when you get the Botox, it relaxes those muscles and you get the filler, it fills in. But guess what? Those wrinkles are still apparent until you've softened them and you've lived in your filler for a while. and those wrinkles start to disappear, but I like to use lotions that are um, geared towards wrinkle reduction because then that helps to get them off of my face. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> I was looking for a product that would do that faster for me. And I've always heard this ridiculous old wives tale that hemorrhoid cream was awesome for getting rid of wrinkles and tightening the face. And so I did some research, a lot of research, because I'm like, mm, hemorrhoid, foot, hemorrhoid cream on my face, that sounds weird. So I looked it up online and I learned that hemorrhoid cream, the stuff that they sell here in the US, is not good for your face. It has some chemicals in it that are causing things like, uh, well, on when you put them on your face, I mean, for the other purpose, I'm sure that's fine, but if you were to put it on areas like around your eyes, it could cause the skin to become more thin and crepey and you don't want that and just over, it's not meant to be used long term, those, the ingredients in the hemorrhoid cream. So I was like, okay, that doesn't work. But then I caught on to this little feed of people who were saying, hey, wait a minute, the hemorrhoid cream from the United States and Canada is not good for your face because it has those things in it. But we've been using the European version of it and it works miracles. And I'm like, what? Okay, so I researched it and read some more and read some more. And the stuff they sell in Europe, this one's from Greece, so everything's like in Greek, sorry. Uh, the ingredients are not. Um, the two active ingredients in this uh, hemorrhoid cream from Greece is yeast cell extract, 1%, and shark liver oil, 3%. Uh, I wish I could get this close enough so you could see that, but it's probably not gonna happen. But anyways, there's other um, non-active ingredients like soft paraffin, liquid paraffin, wool fat, all kinds of weird, you know, like petro petrolatum, things that like people wouldn't normally put on their face. Like, I once heard a doctor tell me, she said, I know that like there's people online that say Vaseline is not a good thing to put on your face, but she, she, I asked her because she had such nice skin. She said, I put Vaseline on my skin every night. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. But she's like, well, you know, you put it on baby's butts. It, it can't be that bad. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're the doctor, so you would know. But anyways, <laughs> it got me thinking, like, maybe the ingredients in this aren't really that bad. I mean, there were 60 and 70 year old women online swearing by this and telling, saying how long they'd been using this and that it was crazy good. And so I'm like, 
okay, I, I guess I will put shark liver oil and wool fat on my face and see it what it does because they were talking about, uh, and somebody, this one really stood out to me because she was talking about um, her lips peeling really bad. And I uh, always, every year, it starts in the winter time and carries on almost all through the year. Uh, you can like peel strips of skin off my lips and make up like lipsticks and balms look like crap on me because I always had these peeling lips. Um, <laughs> this has cured the dry patches that I usually have. This is like my dry areas here, here, my nose is dry. And I had like really ugly rosacea that I always cover up with like really thick concealer every day. And I did not like like going out without even a little bit of concealer. Now I can go to the gym and I don't need to wear anything because my skin has cleared up so much from using this. I'm going to show you how I put it on. But remember, this is not USA hemorrhoid cream. You cannot buy this from the grocery store here in the US or in Canada. Canada says theirs is, oh, it has biodyne and it's some special thing. It's not. It, it still has the chemicals in it. You have to get the one that's just yeast cell extract and shark liver oil. This is the one. This is the one I've been using on my face for two months. Look, I'm not covered in pimples or weirdness, okay? It seems like this would just, it's by Pfizer, so, you know, reputable brand, but the reason why they can't use this in the U.S. is because uh, they couldn't find, or they couldn't prove, or didn't want to try to, <laughs> show scientific proof that this works for hemorrhoids. So while this it may not be able to be proven as effective for hemorrhoids, boy did it do some good things for my face and my lips. Okay, so Sasha, how do you apply this hemorrhoid cream to your face? I'm going to show you. I'm going to wash off this makeup, and then I'm going to show you how I apply it. Because I don't just like squeeze a bottle of hemorrhoid cream out on my face. I mean, that would be whack, right? I mean, it's whack anyways, but I'm going to show you how I put it on so it doesn't make me like just clog all my pores, okay? I'm going to show you, so let me come right back. I'm going to wipe some of this makeup off, okay? Right with you. First, I use makeup wipes or baby wipes to get all of the really heavy makeup off of my face in the evening because if you just go about washing your face, uh, like with a washcloth, you're gonna be like rubbing mascara and eyeliner all over your face and that stuff does not come off easily. I like to just run my uh, wipes right over my eye like this and pull the on the eyelash to get the mascara off. That way I'm not rubbing mascara into my skin. Pretty sure mascara is like not a great beauty product for your pores. So uh, <laughs> I am just doing that first off, just to get that off. I mean, you guys, look, I I wish I would have done it before and after. I wish I would have, because you would have seen how red my cheeks were, and I had a big, huge red. I mean, it's going away. It's not going to go away instantly, of course, but look at, like, this used to be this big red dry patch. It was so, it was so ugly. I would actually put, you know, like, there's certain areas you put concealer, like, I put it here, I put it like here, I put it straight down my nose, I put it here. I had to put the concealer like right here to disguise this ugly patch of ew. Okay, so after that, after this, I'm not going to like wash my face over the sink right now. I'm going to get a little toner out. This is my favorite micellar water. It is simple. I'm sure I've shown this to you maybe once before. Um, I sometimes... If I feel like my skin needs some um, exfoliating, I like to use Clinique's, um, their toner kind of stuff, but um, these sometimes start to irritate my skin. It's just like any exfoliator. If you use it too often, it's going to it's gonna irritate your skin. And I have super, super sensitive skin that I need to be careful about. So, this you can use constantly, you can use it every day, you can use it all day, and it's not going to irritate your skin. Um, so yeah, it says right here, smile. It's simple. Okay. Anyways, so I got my makeup off. So let's see here. Should I put my hair back for this? I think I will. Because, you know, you don't want to get like grease in your hair, right? I don't know. So anyways, as you can see, my hair is getting longer. I love that. Okay, so... 
I like to put on something that helps to move around this very sticky uh, ointment like stuff. So there's a couple things that I will do. Sometimes if I'm in a pinch or I'm traveling um, I carry Mario Badescu's um, their rose water of this is very popular but I don't like the smell of rose water I think it's nasty but they have this one that is a facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea and I think this one smells delish like I could drink it that good so anyways you can either spray this on you can also use this as a setting spray or just a refresher during the day or if you're out by the poolside drinking a Mai Tai and you're like so hot out here, Becky. I mean, mm, mm. yeah, anyway, so like the multi purpose product. So now my skin is a little wet and slippery because I just used that. And I like to put this in the areas that uh, either A, I have wrinkles I want to soften, or B, are dry and patchy and weird. So I started out, this was a couple months ago, I was only putting this in this eye area. I know I'm just like, look, I see stuff. I just get it on like the end of my finger just a little bit. And I put it around the eye. Because this is an area where I get those creepy, creepy looking eyes that I don't like. And I think next week I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna have, I've never had filler put here um, specifically, but I th I'm thinking about having them put it directly underneath my eyes. Because, you know, I get it around my mouth, and it just made a big difference on the jowl-looking things I have. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to get rid of these wrinkles that are left over from the jowls. So, I don't know if you call those jowls, but <laughs> that's what I call them. I guess jowls are like things hanging here. Um, so anyways, I put them here and here, and I was putting a little up here because I, I've since gotten a lot of Botox up here, but there's still this deep wrinkle right here that will not go away. So anyways, I'm working on that one. So that's where I was putting it originally. I was just putting it in those places, and I was just noticing over a week or two that my skin was uh, looking more hydrated under my eyes and I wasn't getting any breakouts around the area, so I'm like, hmm, maybe my skin doesn't totally hate this stuff, so maybe I should try putting it on my very red cheeks. As you can see, do I look like I have like a horrible case of rosacea? No, because I've been using this for two months, and now remember, don't put this on thick, okay? It shouldn't feel like a grease pan, remember? So like I put some on and then I use a finger that doesn't have any of it on it and I wipe it away. So remember my face is kind of wet and then I put it on and then I kind of wipe it off. Like when I was first getting used to this product because you don't want to completely clog your pores. Your skin can soak up so much of this at night uh, while you're sleeping but if you cake this stuff on it can not soak it all up and so that whole time your skin will be like I don't know I just I think that so I'm focusing on this area where I had really dry ugly red patch right here I didn't really have it on this side so much maybe this is like the side I like use my cell phone on or something I don't know and I put it on my lips because it has seriously changed my lips I know it sounds gross, you're putting butt cream on your lips, but hello, I have gorgeous lips now that I can put lipstick on and it doesn't look like nast, okay? It looks awesome. So I'm just gonna put this all over my, I barely have anything left on my, any product left on my hand, but I'm just smoothing it over and anything that feels like too oily, I'm smoothing it away. Another thing that, um, I was doing because I was feeling like in the morning some parts of my face hadn't soaked it up really well. Um, this is almost gone, but this is something I like. It's um, it's called Garnier. Garnier. It's by Garnier Fructis. You know the they sell this at Walgreens. I think it's been so long since I've been to Walgreens. Um, 
They also have this at the grocery store. Yes, they do. They do. It's called Skin Active. It's Moisture Rescue Ref <laughs> Refreshing Gel Cream. So it's kind of like this cool gel. And it's like, hmm. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like jello. Hmm. And, uh, jello. Jello doesn't go in a jar, Sasha. Okay, so, anyways, um, I put this on over it just to, um, thin it out a little bit more. You could pretty much use any, like, face serum that your skin is already likes. Um, I, this wouldn't be a time to go buy a serum, you know, just to see, it, you know, if it works with the hemorrhoid cream. I find one that you've already used and like. Or, like, this is very gentle, this, uh, this refreshing, uh, gel cream. And, I don't even know why they call this a cream, it's totally a gel. Um, but anyways, this just helps smooth it out and makes your skin soak it up, I think, more. And that's all I've been putting on my face at night. Just those two things. And, I mean... I wish, I wish I would have taken a before and after because I'm not, obviously I'm not uh, getting any, you know, cash back for telling you guys about this. It's hemorrhoid cream from Greece. Oh, and by the way, I found this um, on eBay and I think it was like 10 bucks. Was it 10? Yeah, for this little tube, which by the way, is, I'm not even putting a dent in it. I've been using it for two months. I mean, seriously, the thing's still pretty much full. And this is one of those metal tubes. So, uh, you can see it's pretty much full. So anyways, I'm not endorsing, you know, this for a company or anything like that. I'm just saying it works like crazy for somebody with dry skin. Now, I don't know if this would do wonders for somebody with oily skin because I don't have oily skin. But if I did have oily skin, I would still use it, um, in the areas like where I was trying to soften wrinkle lines. Now, I would never ever say, oh, this product is great for getting rid of wrinkles because <sighs> I hate it when people say that. There's no such thing as a wrinkle cream, okay? I've tried them all. The only thing that really gets rid of wrinkles is like Botox and dermal fillers. I'm sorry, and like plastic surgery. That is how you can get rid of an actual wrinkle. I have never met a cream that actually got rid of a wrinkle, okay? It just, it's never happened. And I mean, Ugh, I'm only in my 30s and I can't get a wrinkle with cream, so I don't think anybody who like most people who are looking for wrinkle creams are a little older than me and I, I, I just can't believe they're still trying to buy the magical creams that get rid of wrinkles. They're not out there. So go get some Botox, some dermal filler, and then use some creams that tighten the skin or soften the skin and hydrate it so that you can kind of like relax that skin and maybe some of the wrinkles will fade a little bit. So Anyways, uh, that's my new magical crazy cream, and my husband thinks it's hilarious to bring it up at parties. Guess what my wife's been putting on her face? <laughs> but I find it amusing as well, and <laughs> it works. It's worked for me, and maybe, maybe it'll work for you. I don't know. I don't know I, if this is for all skin types, or, it's, I mean, it's truly experimental. I read about it. I heard so many people going, oh my gosh, I ordered this from Europe and I've been using it for decades and it's amazing. And so I'm like, how can you argue with that? Because there are women out there who have been experimenting with face creams all their lives and those are the kind of people you need to like talk to if they've got great skin. And these women claim to have great skin and they were using this, a $10 tube of hemorrhoid cream. Okay, so now that we've gotten over the hemorrhoid cream, we've seen how I've applied it, and I've got to say, I mean, you can clearly see that I don't have any major skin problems right now, and I swear, I swear on my mother's grave, I have not, yes, she's still alive, um, <laughs> I swear on my mother's grave, I have not, um, uh, not, not that I have not have. I have been using for this for the last two months, and you can see I do not have any breakouts, which normally if I use something that is very, like, 
skin clogging or even a lotion that is too creamy, I break out big time. I get white heads, I get red bumps, I get I get it all because I have sensitive skin. This, no problem. So if you are like very prone to breakouts and you have really sensitive skin, don't discount this right away because it could be the answer to your prayers. <laughs> um, I know it sure has been for me, if not just for my lips and the redness and dryness that I had all over my face because now I can go to the gym without a speck of makeup on and I'm like, wow, this isn't so bad. Mm, no, it's not. It isn't. I could totally go without makeup. <laughs> not that I would do that, but you know, for the gym, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, so if you liked this video, you found anything helpful about it, like it, hit that little thumbs up button. If you are not a subscriber already, hello, subscribe if you'd like to. Come back, you're my friend here on YouTube, I'd love to see you around. Leave a comment if you so wish to, and, or if you've tried this before and you use it yourself, let others know what your experience was with it. Thank you, see you guys later, bye.